<sighs> to unwind and relax, I often do leather work. What's it going to be? I'm about 80% done. Um, I designed this and redesigned it five times in my head. I don't know if other people do this, but uh, I'll actually build something in my head and then redesign it, and then I'll start over. And the most important thing in leather working is if you could do it really, really simply so that it could be created relatively fast, that's better because leather working uh, hurts your hands. Yeah, it does. So I just need to add that hardware. Yes, I'm actually sitting on the concrete floor in my basement. So this is regular cowhide here. These are a solid brass jiffy rivets, which are made in Belgium. Yes, this is um, buffalo skin leather, buffalo skin hide. So I'm about 80% done. And don't say purse. It's like, what's it going to be? You know, gone are the days when people, and you know, it's like, well, can't you just buy something like this online? Well, they make stuff like this online, but it's, mine's going to have an ingenious way of closing it. None of the other ones online have a, have a closure specifically what it's going to be is a shot shell bag yeah and uh, the way I did this is that inside of it is some foam that I cut out to have a certain thickness and then I covered it in duct tape to make it perfectly round and I use that as an insert when I'm actually done which I'm basically done now and this is completely compressible I'll just yank it out but uh, it kept this form so I made sure the form was the right size and height, and uh, man, it's really taken me no time to create this. Like, no time. Just have to add some brand hard brass hardware. Trim this out here. I think it took was a couple of hammers, some mallets, about uh, 30 jiffy rivets, or less than that actually. And uh, leather work is relaxing. It does hurt your hands, but uh, my problem is, is that uh, I'm always thinking a million miles a second and answering about 150 emails a day. And, geez, sometimes it's not 150. Uh, yesterday sure as hell was, but, uh, yeah, sometimes you have to unwind just a little bit. And uh, it's really been hard to sleep lately because of allergies. It hasn't rained in three weeks, three weeks here. She has a belt loop goes right here, and uh, it's going to have a closure on the top, a very simple closure. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I could have done a better finishing job. My other designs that I constructed in my head were, would have been a lot more time intensive, because I would have had to rivet one side, then rivet the front side with a center section wrapping around, and, uh, this is a lot simpler because it only took me, well, it took me like five minutes to create this foam insert as a filler, as a filler, so, yeah, yeah. I know this bores the living piss out of you. Someone's going to comment below, why am I watching this damn video? Why? You know, wasted my time. I hate you. You wasted my time. And like, well, I did warn you not to watch this video. I warned you. Do you want to see the final result? Um, I guess I'll post the final result video up, maybe? I don't know, what do you think? Like, someone's like, oh, please God, don't post up a second video. Maybe just a picture, I don't know. <sighs> yes, welcome to my basement. This is so exciting. <laughs> this is what you do and you don't have a wife and kids, I guess. I just have to unwind sometimes. I did a lot of walking today. A lot of thinking, a lot of answering of emails. I haven't slept much recently because of allergies. Yep. Thanks for watching.